Welcome back to your daily dose of science. Today, we're hitting the lab to witness an awesome chemical reaction. With me, Ava. Me, Amy. Me, Afric. And of course, let's not forget about me, Jack. <gasps> wow! For this rockin' reaction, you will need some wacky white vinegar, some bonkers baking soda, and a beaker or a glass, of course. And that's all, folks. Simple. Well, first things first, we gotta look the part. Now pour a nice amount of vinegar into the glass. Now add a few spoonfuls of baking soda, available at any local supermarket. And now we watch the magic happen. This happens because in vinegar there is a substance called acetic acid. Baking soda contains something called alkaline. Alkaline and acetic acid are combined and a chemical reaction releases carbon dioxide gas, aka the bubbles. See you next time on... Sensei Scientists! Oh yeah! Let's go! Woo! Hashtag science! The future's been so different now we're gone And to karaoke songs How we like to sing along Though the words are wrong It really, really, really could happen Yes, it really
White glue is a polymer. A polymer is a bunch of long chains of molecules. In our case, these molecules are polyvinyl acetate molecules. They slide past each other easily, which means the glue can be poured from the bottle. When sodium borate or borax is added, the borax molecules and glue molecules cross-link, making the ingredients clump together forming slime. Now the polyvinyl acetate molecules find it much harder to slide past each other. This substance can be beaten, pulled, stretched and poked. 